Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to actually finally to finally film, edit, and upload this video because I filmed it a few times and I'm just bad. So today I'm gonna to be doing my everyday Glossier makeup routine. This is my work makeup, my weekend makeup, pretty much any day of the week makeup. I'm sorry, there's a truck passing. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, you should definitely hit subscribe down below. I put out new videos whenever the heck I get around to it. And if you're a returning subscriber, set. Thanks for coming back. Let's actually get started. Okay, so I have a mirror taped to my tripod below my camera. I will, <laughs> I will show you a picture of what this looks like. So all of the makeup and skin products I use in the morning are in this bag right here. My current primer and moisturizer. This is from First Aid Beauty. I was recommended this by someone at Sephora and I've been really happy with it so far. It smells amazing. I definitely just put way too much on. Doing great already, boys and girls. Doing great. There's like smooth, smoothing, smoothening. So after I put my primer Thing on. I just started using the Glossier sunscreen. So far, really satisfied with it. I've been using it for probably like three weeks now. It is kind of like a small bottle. It's a little on the pricey side. I will, I don't know how much it is off the top of my head, but I'll put the price right here so you guys can see. I think I use just one, one pump. Sometimes I use two. I don't know. I just kind of Focus like on like right underneath my eyes and around my eyes and on my forehead. And I do like with these two lotions that I use, so with the primer and the sunscreen, it does give my face like a really good base sheen. So I have kind of like this natural glow already going that it's really just kind of like, I don't have anything else on right now, but it, it's just, it's really illuminating, I guess. Illuminating? Oh, I have the headache. Can you tell I know nothing about skincare? Moving on. Also, this is an SPF 35, so this is really great for everyday use. It has like a little bit of a sunscreen smell to it, but it's like nothing like I've tried before where it's been really like in your face sunscreen. Next, I use the Glossier Skin Tint in the shade Light. This lasts me a good amount of time, probably like two or three months because I don't use that much. I just kind of like, I draw squiggles on my face and then I just kind of blot it in so so my foundation is all on this is really light wearing um, it's great because my face is kind of hairy and a lot of foundation just doesn't work for my skin texture and so this is really like my skin absorbs this really well it doesn't sit like on top of my face on top of like the hair on my face like a lot of foundation does and also i am very lucky to have relatively clear skin if you don't need that much then this is this will probably work for you next i use this is not a glossier product this is from benefit it's the boing concealer it's in, like an industrial strength concealer. Um, I was using this when I was having really bad um, cystic breakouts along my jawline because I do get those. I, I'm a very cystic person. I have cysts pretty much everywhere in my body. And so when I have flare ups, I definitely get them in my face. So this is really great <laughs> if you do have cystic acne and scarring. Um, this is really a great concealer. I usually just like blot a little bit on my finger um, and then I just do like a little bit underneath my eyes because you girl tired all the time <laughs> and I have some scars above my eyebrows so I'm gonna just blend those out and then that audacity breakout from yesterday where did you come from why who sent you so you can see like I don't know if you can exactly see it but like all along here I have some pretty dark scars um, and this does a pretty good job at covering those up because the rest of my face I don't really have much acne scarring other than right there now this is the second cloud paint that I have bought from Glossier I have this one this is beam and then I also have puff which is a little bit of a lighter 
pink. This one's slightly more like salmon colored. I'm pretty happy with it so far. So I'm just gonna take a, a little bit. I usually do like that much um, per cheek. I kind of do a, a lot, <laughs> um, but I usually like, I'll spread like a little bit onto the other cheek as I'm going. And I kind of go in like a swooping motion, like kind of just like as a little bit of a, a contour and blush. Cause I, I don't, I can't really use like bronzer um, cause I look really bizarre. <laughs> I'm naturally pretty red, so I can kind of get away with putting on an excessive blush. I don't know. I probably shouldn't. People probably think I look crazy. Because this is like the exact same color as like when my cheeks get really red. Um, like if I'm upset, if I'm stressed, if I'm hot, cold, my cheeks get bright red. And this is like the exact same color that they turn. So. Next I'm going to do my eyeshadow. I use the Lid Star in Slip. This is also the second one that I've bought. I bought the... It's like the white one. I think it's called Moon. I didn't really like that one. I thought it made my skin look a little flaky. I'm a little bit more satisfied with this one. I think I'm going to try the Lily next, which is like their purpley one, as I go into the winter season. So I think that'd be kind of cool. I do think these are a little overpriced with what kind of product you actually get. Um, I'm not like the most satisfied with them, but I haven't really found another style. I'm doing a great job here, as you can see. I have eyeshadow like this that I've been really happy with, so I guess I'm, I'm kind of stuck with this one for now. So I go a little bit into my inner corner and I just kind of blot the edge with my finger, like that. It's pretty subtle, but I, I think that's what I like about it. Sometimes I also take it and do like a little tiny, like a little bit of a, a dab on my brow bone because I think this acts as like, it doesn't really move once it's there. It's pretty like um, sturdy. So I use it as a little bit of like a brow highlight too since the halo scope does kind of wear off a little bit. Next is my favorite part of my makeup routine, which is my eyebrows. So right now, this is my natural brow. I don't dye my brows. Um, so this is kind of like where I'm at. I've been growing them out for like two years and I haven't really plucked them at all. So I used the boy brow in the shade brown. When I was a platinum blonde, I used the blonde shade because my hair was so much lighter, really dark brows looked kind of weird on me and I don't know why I thought that was a good look for a while. Anyway, so it's just this little, little spoolie guy. I go up and I kind of make sure I get all the hairs going up pretty hard like that. And then I back comb until I absolutely look like a Wolverine or something. And then I kind of go like in like diagonal strokes, um, kind of like starting to comb them down. But like in the front, I still kind of like pull toward the center of my face like that. Then I slowly like start to coax like the super stray hairs down like that. And then sometimes I go along the bottom and just pull like some hairs to kind of create a little bit of a line there um, to fill in some of the spots where I don't have as much brow. <laughs> I'm really happy with this because it's way easier. I used to spend like 15 minutes a day on my eyebrows and if not more, like everyone went through that phase where they were doing the super thick painted on eyebrows and I was really into that for a while but this is just so much easier. <laughs> All right, we good, we good. All right. So now that my brows are done, I have like two more products to use. So the next product is the Glossier Lash Slick. And I called this the lash stick for like probably three months. And I was in the Glossier store and I was like, I'd like the lash stick. And she was like, you mean the lash slick? And I was like, hmm. That's what that's called. Shout out to that girl at the Glossy store on Melrose. I'm sorry I called it the lash stick. People ask me about my eyelashes a lot. A lot of people think that my eyelashes are fake. Like if I'm not wearing mascara, it literally looks like I don't have an eyelash at all. I'm naturally blonde. My hair is very transparent. My body hair is transparent. So um, my eyelashes are pretty much transparent, which is fine. But when I use this mascara, it's like, so it's just like a really narrow spoolie 
It's really great because it has like the little fibers. So like, I'll just, I'll just go for it. This is a crazy mascara. I'm just gonna try to get really close. Yeah, it really, it really works for my eyelashes. It's crazy. Like if I relax and just have like my normal, my normal face on, like my eyelashes literally touch my eyebrows. They're touching my eyebrows. Like I can, you can see the hairs moving. So if you want your eyelashes to touch your eyebrows, get this. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this other eye and then we're gonna move on to the next step. So my eyelashes are all done. And now it's time for the, it literally looks like I don't have a top lip today. Why? So the next step and the final step, there's cat hair on it. Woo! The final step that I do is my highlighter and I use Haloscope in the shade Quartz. This is what it looks like. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I used to use the Clinique Chubby Stick, which is a fantastic highlighter. I still think that it's like a close rival to this, but this is definitely glossier. The other one, the Chubby Stick, was like definitely more shimmery, definitely more of like a traditional highlighter. So yeah, and my little sister yelled at me because I used to like rub this on my face. And I know that's how they have it on the Glossier website too, but she said that it's like, it can be better to just rub your fingers in it like, like this, so you're not wiping off all of like the foundation that you just put on underneath. So I just kind of tap, and just keep rubbing my fingers. Make sure your fingers are clean and not covered in cat hair like mine are. I bring it down kind of far into my cheeks right here so it blends a little bit into the uh, cloud paint. Just really kind of bring it forward because it, it does help give you that really glowy, look if you bring it like beyond just your cheekbone and kind of like a little bit onto like the apples of your cheeks up here and then also I do some on my the tip of my nose right here and I get like the edge right here because the center is kind of like the center of this doesn't really have any highlighter in it it's kind of like this is the dewy part and then the outer part is the shimmery part um, so I get like the outer part and then I like touch a little bit onto like my brow and then kind of like whatever's left over on my finger so I just have like a little bit put that in the center of my forehead sometimes this makes me look too greasy but I'm not too greasy right now so I'm I think I'm okay then I put some on my cupid's bow then a little bit on my chin and that's it I can do this entire routine in like 15 minutes this is definitely taking me like 25 because I'm talking um, but yeah that's my entire everyday makeup routine. If you enjoyed watching this video, definitely hit subscribe down below. If you, Jesus, if you want to see more videos from me, definitely go hit subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed watching it. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the products that I've used, um, I will link each product in the description box below so you can go check them out. And if you have any questions, please don't be afraid to comment or DM me on Instagram. Here's my Instagram handle if you don't already have it. Shoot me a DM if you have any questions. I will do my best to help you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. I'm blind. <laughs>